I want to go over something that is going to help you. So whether you have demons inside of you or around you, if you are having problems with sin, meaning that you are doing sins that you don't want to do, any problem that you have, this is going to help you. This is going to solve many of the problems that you have. So when it comes down to demons, enemies, your personal sins, and stuff like that. So really take heed to this. Take notes if you have to. Really pay attention to what I am saying here. <clears throat> so, number one, repent of your sins to God. Pray to Him. Example, God, please forgive me of everything I have done. Be sincere when you say this. Be serious. If you are not sincere, God is not going to forgive you. That is key. Sincerity. If you are premeditating on doing something wrong, when you repent, then God is not going to forgive you of your sins. This is the first step. Because some people want other people to pray for them, to cast out the demons within them, but what is the point of that when you are going to go sin again and get those demons back in you again? Does that make any sense? A person can cast out demons out of you, but if you are going to go back out and sin again, you are going to get more and worse demons. So this quick fix stuff is not going to work. This is a process. You need to get out of sin. Demons, per se, is not your problem. It is your sinful nature that is the problem. Your sin is causing demons to come to you. Does that make any sense? So you can get demons cast out of you each day. If you don't sin, if you, if you continue to sin, those demons are going to come back in much stronger. So really take heed to this. So your first step is repent of your sins. That is your first step. So God, please forgive me of everything that I have done. Be serious and sincere when you say this. Don't be premeditating on doing something wrong while you are saying this because you are not serious. When you are serious, yes, you are still going to make mistakes, but when you are serious, when you say this, you are very... How can I say this? When you are serious about changing, yes, you may make mistakes, yes, but your mind is made up that you want to change now. But a person who is premeditating on doing something wrong, that is different because they may be saying the words, but they are not serious. There is a difference. Number two, Start praying. Start reading the Bible and praying more often. This is important. Like I said, a person can cast out demons in you all day long. But if you don't repent, read your Bible and pray often, those demons are going to come back to you. So there is no such thing as a quick fix. That quick fix stuff is going to make your state more worse. I can pray for you, but what good is that when you are going to continue to sin? You have to go through this process. There is no quick fix. If there were, believe me, I may have been, I would be the first to know because I tried to find any shortcut out there, but there is no shortcuts. None. 
this is a process. You have to go through the process. Okay, number three, go on a spiritual fast. What is a spiritual fast? No eating or drinking for a certain time period. Many people fast from one to three days. Going on a spiritual fast gives you multiple benefits. It works when you are trying to get rid of demons and other things. You are sinning so much because you have demons. When you are doing something that you don't want to do, you have demons. Well, Kevin, I don't think I have demons. You have demons. So what you need to do is repent, pray, read your Bible, and go on a fast. Try to do three days. If you can, go for a week. Do it for seven days. If you are able, no eating or drinking. Now, there are people who go on a fast that do this partial fast stuff where they are eating or drinking something but they are not eating their main foods. I don't know anything about that. I don't. What a fast is, from what the Bible says, you are not eating or drinking anything. A fast where you are drinking water and all this other stuff, I don't know anything about that. I guess you can do it, but <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work. So no eating or drinking anything. Number four, this is very important stuff here. Very important. If you don't do it, of course, you are going to stay in the same state. You are. If you want change to happen, you have to change the way you think. You have to change the way that you do things and stuff like that. Your whole environment have to change in order to change. You heart, you have to change in what you do. Okay. So I really hope this makes sense. Let me scroll down. Number four. Stay away from everything that is evil slash sinful. I'm serious. So this includes sinful music. Stay away from all rap and hip hop. Stay away from that trash. That stuff is going to fill you up with so many demons and put you in lust. Stay away from any music that talks about sex, drugs, anything bad and sinful. Yes, it may be popular and you can snap your fingers too and bob your head and stuff like that. That stuff is going to get you into trouble. Anything sinful, stay away from it. Anything that is not of God, stay away from it as much as possible. Especially sinful music. Don't even play around with listening to Jay-Z and Beyonce and Lil Wayne and Drake and all of those people there. Stay away from all of that stuff. If you listen to it, no wonder you are having trouble serving God. No wonder. Because what they are saying and what God is saying is different. So you are trying to follow God, but you are listening to people who go against God, and you wonder why there are problems. <laughs> this is really simple things to understand. You can't try to do things of God while you are doing things of Satan. You can't be listening to things that is pushing you to curse and have sex before marriage, do drugs and stuff like that, then at the same time you want to listen to preachings and teachings and things of God. 
it is not going to work right. The evil is going to have more pull on you. <laughs> okay, so sinful people, stay away from your sinful friends. People who are always cussing, always having sex before marriage, always doing something that goes against the Bible, stay away from them. I know that you want to be popular or in the in crowd and all that silly stuff, but that stuff is going to get you into trouble. Popularity is nothing when it comes down to you dying in your sins and going to hell. Popularity is nothing. It is nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> this is why it is so hard for you to get out of sin because you are fellowshipping with things that are of sin. You want to get out of sin, but at the same time you are fellowshipping with things that are of sin. Hey Kevin, I am having trouble with demons. Stay away from sinful things. Oh, Kevin, you know, I can't stop cussing. Stay away from things that curse. <laughs> hey, Kevin, my feet are always getting wet. Stay away from water. <laughs> it is as simple as that. It is as simple as that. It's common sense. If you are having problems with something, stay away from it. Stay away from anything that will influence you to do or say or be a certain way that is not of God. Very simple concepts. Okay. So, sinful friends, sinful television shows, sinful pictures, pornography, yes. Even if you are married, don't watch pornography. Don't do it. Don't do it. Sinful radio stations, sinful clothing, yes. Clothing that exposes too much of your body. Stay away from that. That is not of God. Well, I want to look sexy, Kevin. This is the reason why you are always falling in sin. It is the little things that count. Many people only look at the big things. Well, I don't kill anybody or, you know, I don't do this and I don't do that. So I don't see why all of these things are a problem. The more small things that you do, the more it is going to build, 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 and build. Next thing you know it, you don't want anything to do with God. Why? Because you have so much sin in your life. Because it is the little things, as you say, that is really doing you the most harm. Really take heed to this. So stay away from evil slash sinful things so sinful music sinful people sinful friends sinful television shows sinful pictures pornography sinful radio stations sinful clothing stay away from all that stuff you can ask a person hey can you cast this demon out of me it is not going to work if you continue to do these things. That demon or demons are coming right back. They are coming right back. If you believe that you can get a person to pray for you and you can continue on doing the things that are harming you and you think that things are going to change, how can you think that? You can ask me to pray for you and say, hey, Kevin, I want you to pray for me so I can stop cutting my arm. 
if you don't put down the knife, what good is my prayer? If you are continuing to do things that are of sin, what good is my prayer? <clears throat> when I pray, or when, when anyone prays for you, it can't go against your will. Now, I can ask God to push you or to influence you to do the right thing, but God is not going to take you by your arm. Hey, repent of your sins. Don't do this and don't do that. God is not going to force you to, to do anything. Does that make any sense? God is not going to force you. So, the demons in your life is not the problem. People in your life is not the problem. You are the problem. So, you have to change your ways. Prayer, if you are not trying to do right and you continue to do bad things, my prayers are not going to do any good for you because you are determined to continue to do the wrong thing. I really hope this makes sense. So it makes no sense to ask people to cast out demons out of you or to pray for you when you are determined to not do right. It is different if <clears throat> you have made steps on trying to do the right thing. That is different. But when you are determined to do wrong and you want this quick fix, that is not going to work. So really take heed to this. This is really going to help you. I'm serious. Okay, God bless.